Down low, double team. Good defense from Ringwood, and they reject them. And now the ball with the Spanish import in Hamida. In the corner now, Whittle for three. Bang, bang. Hamida with a big long pass. Gets it across now to Whittle. Moving screen there. She's taking it hard to the rack and physically too strong. And it's now 13 6. But at this point, the Ringwood defense is such uh, a hounding type of defense, and Whittle takes it away off the inbound, and she'll definitely score in transition. In Niver Brown, that they go in the inside again. They just can't stop Stratmane from getting those rebounds. And then Whittle, they kick it out to Whittle for three, and it's 26 14. Stratmane from downtown, she's feeling it. And unfortunately, a little on the long side there, but they shake the ball loose, Ringwood. Get across now, Stramane kicks back in, gets the pass out to Whittle. She kisses it in off the glass for two. One or even maybe two is, is, a, is right for Stramane, and maybe you send it even one more and see if you can warrior out of those inside shots. She just buries a triple and walks into it. Keelor cannot be happy with that position where that, that mostly clean strip was allowed to happen. Lob pass in there to Whittle. Fall away jump shot for two is good. And uh, they've hit the 50 point mark. Much better third quarter coming from Keelor. Yeah, it's not an easy feat for someone at Strout Mane's height to move her feet for someone a lot smaller as Whittle puts in a nice little floater on to start this uh, second half. She's really executing that Keeler offense and I think that's where it stems from is her ability to, to make those passes to her teammates. Whittle in transit or in, in traffic rather and she elevates for a nice little mid-range. Trotto's going to get the ball on the feed and will kick it back out. Whittle takes it all the way to the rack, kisses it in off the glass for two. And now it's back in the hands of Andriolo. She thinks she's stripped, and she is.